while, they raise their dividends. What about the fact that the market is on an upswing? Is that too conservative of an approach? Well, you know what we find? Companies that are able to raise their dividends every year for long periods tend to have a growth element or else they couldn't do that. And essentially, investors through all stages of a market expansion like to invest in companies where they feel assured of growth, cash flow, solid balance sheets, and they see companies that are willing to take and return some of that back to their shareholders. The payment of those dividends, but primarily the increases of dividends, really is a very, very visible expression that management is confident in their growth. And typically investors of all kinds of flavors like to see that for to give them confidence about the future. So give me a couple of examples of companies that fit your bill in terms of dividend payers. Well, I can think of a, a couple that come immediately to mind would be a company like Procter & Gamble with basically a 50-year history of increasing its dividends every year. It's not going to be a company that's going to sell for a deep discount or ever sell at a deep discount, and occasionally it's going to run into problems uh, like all of a sudden we had a Venezuelan currency revaluation right. and devaluation. But Procter & Gamble is all over the world. Its management finds challenges, but through all kinds of ups and downs, it's been able to grow the dividends, and it's really grown them quite nicely over the last four or five years. Another example in a different kind of industry with a global exposure would be United Technologies. We might know them for Otis Elevators. Uh, they also make jet engines, Pratt & Whitney jet engines, uh, and a whole bunch of other things, carrier air conditioners. Those are type of products that have gone into building an industrial expansion around the world. But that's a cyclical company, and good cyclical companies find a way to also be able to expand their business, maintain growth without leveraging their balance sheet, and reward their shareholders. So both companies have long histories of very large growth. And what we found is they may not participate to the same degree in very, very rapidly rising market environments like what we saw in 2005 and 2006 or 95 and 96. But over 10 and 15 years, they do very well. And, they, and when the market turns down, investors don't abandon them as quickly as they do other stocks.